So you've set up your personal page and you've also set up a business page that's attached to your personal account. So you're almost ready to start inviting people. Before we start inviting people though, we want to make sure that there's some content on the page ready for when the people land on your on your page. So the first thing you want to decide is what is going to be your page's content strategy. And what sort of things are you going to post on the page? And it's important that you understand who your target market is and what sort of content they will find valuable. I'm of the opinion that it's a good place to showcase a bit of your personality, you know, who you are, your involvement in the community, your real estate knowledge, promotions and competitions, rather than just posting your, your property listings. If you post just property listings, you'll only have a captive audience for the time people are looking for property. You want to provide content that people will want to continue following, even if they are not looking for a home. You know, remember, it's important to stress that your content is all about adding value for your followers. Don't make it all about me, me, me. No one really wants to hear what you've had for lunch every day. So a great way to find content without too much thought is to borrow it from other sources. So the first thing I recommend you do is start following all the property brokers pages and all your, your colleagues. So you can do this by typing property brokers into the search field and clicking on the magnifying glass. And as you can see, this will take you through to all the, all the pages about property brokers. And you can just simply go down the list clicking like and you can do this for your pages you might want to follow an individual agent so you can just here's Mike for example you can navigate to Mike's page and then you can just click like so once you've done this now when you go to your home feed you will be able to see all the posts from everyone that you've liked so you can scroll down there and if you see a post that uh, might be relevant or might be something you want to post, these are easily shared on your timeline by clicking the share icon. So there's two options. You can share now public. So this just automatically posts to your timeline or you can choose to share with three dots. If you click this one, this will give you a chance to add some comments. And then you can just post that. And then it says this post has now been shared on your timeline. So if we click back to our page, you can see here that now this post is on our timeline. And you can also do the same thing if, you, if you're on a page, say we're on the property brokers page, and you see something you'd like to share, you hear some tips about how to keep your home safe when you're away from holidays. So that looks like good stuff. So let's share that. Post that and then once again so this has been shared to our to our timeline so once you've shared one of these on your timeline this will go out to a proportion of the people who have liked your page it's worth noting that not every post you put up will be seen by every person that likes your page the amount of people it goes out to is worked out by how many people are engaged with your content. So the more engagement you have, the more people sharing, commenting, the more people will will see your content. So as a rule of thumb, when it comes to posts, you should be trying to post one to four things a day. So as you can see now, we're starting to get a good selection of content on, on our page. The next thing we might want to do is post a, a listing. To do this, we can just go to the Property Workers website and copy a URL into the comment box. This one has worked quite well, but I have noticed there is a bit of a bug in Facebook, which means sometimes when you post this, it doesn't automatically bring through the photos. So if this does happen, what you'll need to do is navigate away from the page and then go back into your page and repost and re post the link and then the images should come across. So at the moment you can see we've got three photos have pulled through from the listing. So you can change the order of these photos by just dragging them around. You can also add new images. So if there's one there that's not um, shown, just click on that and you can upload them from your computer. You can also choose whether the post displays one to two or three posters. So now we've only got one image, but we can still click through the different photos up here. This format has been done because it's very mobile friendly. So when this is posted on mobile, you're able to just swipe through the, the photos. So we'll just 
and once we've done that then we can um, publish and there we go now we've got a property listing up on the site the next thing you might want to post is a video and we can do this in much the same fashion so if you navigate to property brokers site and if you've got a video and um, that's attached to a listing there's a little arrow up here in the top right hand corner if we click on that there's a share and then there is a Facebook icon here so if you click on that that will open a new window you'll need to continue using Facebook as your personal page so you just push switch and then and then it's important that instead of sharing it on your personal timeline you click this drop down arrow and you share on a page you manage and see this will give you the option to share as Bruce Lee property brokers and then you can simply just post that to Facebook so if we go back into Facebook and we refresh the page so you can see now that that video has come across as a post you can also choose to create your own content by simply clicking in the, the comment box and writing whatever it is you'd like to write choose to upload a file from your computer by clicking on the camera icon here and clicking publish. So that's the basics of uploading content. Join me next time where we are showing you how to build your audience and invite more people to your page.